Welcome to Tunacheki, the best source of African lists, entertainment, pop culture, and news. Uh, this is Makimushi uh, from Tunacheki, and uh, thank you for joining us. So, on to our news. Uh, Uganda will be using its uh, uranium deposits to actually produce nuclear power. So, uh, the current news is uh, the Uganda Minister of Energy met with uh, Rosatom. Uh, Rosatom is a, a state owned Russian uh, nuclear uh, energy uh, company, a nuclear energy plant uh, that will start. Uh, using the uh, uranium that is actually being mined in Uganda and used in other Western nuclear powers yeah, to power its own country. Okay, so Rosatom has been uh, uh, sending a lot of MOUs with a lot of African countries. Uh, there are many African countries that have signed MOUs with Rosatom, the Russian state-owned company. So Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Tunisia, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, they all are interested in uh, nuclear power. So uh, according to the story, so Russia and Uganda have agreed to work together in the field of nuclear energy. The agreement was signed on Tuesday by Rosatom representative and Uganda Energy Minister Irene Muloni on the sidelines of the International Atomic Energy Agency General Conference in Vienna. The deal lays foundation for specific cooperation between Russia and Uganda in the field of nuclear energy. Rosatom says it paves way for working together in the creation of nuclear energy infrastructure, the reproduction of radioisotopes for the industry, medicine, agriculture, as well as training for personnel. Rosatom said the parties had agreed to organize visits by specialists in the near future. Moscow first signed the Memorandum of Understanding with Kampala on nuclear energy in 2017 ahead of Beijing, which has signed similar agreements in 2018. So uh, let us know what you think. Uh, should Africa pursue uh, nuclear energy? Uh, we did an African true story uh, titled, What if Africa was a nuclear power? Where we explained how uh, these days nuclear energy is very safe, uh, uh, like uh, the technology has improved, like it's less dirty, it's less dangerous, right? And uh, according to the scientists, all of Africa's river, all of Africa's natural, uh, like natural, uh, uh, like uh, resources like wind, uh, solar, and uh, like uh, like hydro 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 power is not enough to power the whole of Africa. In the United States, New York itself uses almost as much as the whole African continent when it comes to energy consumption. So our point is, how can Africa compete with just one city in the United States? based on uh, like a new uh, power needs right as africa is struggling with uh, like a uh, like renewable energy okay renewable energy is good but i think the way africa is growing and where we want to be we really need nuclear energy uh, right nuclear energy can be safe uh, it's it's the one that's powering most of uh, the united states it's the one that's powering most of europe right so why should africa not receive this nuclear energy with enough training uh, with good uh, with good personnel with good uh, like with good uh, like monitoring, I think Africa would really need the nuclear energy to develop into the future, okay? Uh, as other sustainable technology improves, as solar improves, as wind improves, right? But for now, we can't wait for all those. We need nuclear energy. Uh, this is like a personal opinion. Like Africa needs nuclear energy to be able to compete with the world or will always be... Uh, like uh, like uh, like tagging along, right? Uh, like we'll never have enough for everybody, right? Uh, like Africa is deficient when it comes to energy. Uh, the stats are very shocking. So make sure to watch our African True Story linked here below where we'll explain why Africa needs nuclear power to sustain its future generation, okay? So thank you for tuning in to African News Brief and uh, stay tuned for uh, some few announcements and uh, a quick explanation from uh, where we've been. Uh, we've not been doing uh, this African News Brief for a while, uh, but we have a reason. Uh, we were currently in Ethiopia doing interviews, uh, like short documentaries, shows, greeting uh, some of our fans. And uh, thank you to all Ethiopians who welcomed us and uh, we'll be coming to more African countries uh, soon. Okay, so next I will be going to Rwanda to do some, uh, some more interviews, you know, get to know more of our fans around uh, the continent. Okay, so if uh, you're from an African country, let us know uh, if you're welcome in your country and uh, if you'd like us to come and uh, showcase the best of your African country. Okay, so uh, we have uh, new Patreons. Uh, thank you so much for all the Patreon supporters who support us. Our new Patreons uh, just this month were uh, Fidela K, uh, Leonard, NCB Media, and Mona. Okay, thank you so much for supporting us, uh, Tunachiki. And if you're interested in becoming a Tunachiki Patreon, uh, make sure to check out the details uh, below. Okay, uh, like your support really helps us uh, make more content, uh, helps us uh, to like travel uh, to more African content and make give you, you know, 
like real time uh, like real time data of what's going on in Africa okay so thanks uh, once again for tuning in to our African news brief and let us know uh, what you think of this Uganda and Russia nuclear deal uh, let us know if Africa needs nuclear energy to compete with the rest of the world uh, or like Africa is okay with sustainable energy you know like both both um, both um, cases are legit okay so either sustainable energy to support the whole of uh, Africa towards the future or Africa needs nuclear energy to compete with the rest of the world okay thank you for tuning in to Tuna Checking and uh, we'll see you in the next one